Hello, this is Melissa, your insurance exam queen, and we are here on this channel to help make sure that you can pass your insurance exam with ease and confidence. In this video today, we're going to talk about commercial policies, which everyone dreads, even me, and I am the most positive, happiest person ever, and <laughs> I still hate commercial, <laughs> but, 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 but I want to ease your mind a little bit about commercial and also show you how I can best help you to make sure that you can pass the exam Please make sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video. You can also drop a comment below if you have any questions. And if you're looking to find out what is important for your state, because every state is a little bit different. Some are heavy in one concept, smaller in another. If you're wanting to know what's important for you, what you should be studying, go check out insuranceexamqueen.com. Click on recommendations, click on your state, and I will tell you what's important and how I can help make sure that you can pass your insurance exam. So I want to talk about commercial, and this is part of one of the presentations that we've created for um, some of our videos with the commercial policies, and um, I want to share a few slides with you to, to help make sure that you understand, because we get a lot of feedback like, my whole exam was commercial. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it was not. <laughs> Let me explain why. There's only, you can actually go to, um, you can find every insurance exam's content outline. They, uh, they all have an outline. Um, and they tell you what they're tested on and how many questions come from every section. And commercial on most exams is a smaller section in terms of how many questions are asked. And even if it is a bigger section, you still only need 70% in most states to be able to pass, which means you don't have to be super strong in commercial. And here's why it's hard to be super strong in commercial. So when we take a look at this, so this represents like a page of reading, right? So one of these yellow things is a page of reading. And so when on the homeowner side, you're likely to see about three questions asked from every page worth of reading. Now you're in your online course and you're just clicking, clicking, clicking through, through screens of text. But if you were to put it all together into pages, like a textbook, homeowners is, is about 30 to 40-ish pages. And you're, you can expect about three questions from each page worth of reading. Now, on the other hand, when it comes to commercial, so these red these red lines represent about three pages worth of reading, right? On commercial, you're likely to see one question asked on the exam for every three pages. And in some states, you need seven pages worth of reading to be prepared for one question. So do you understand what I'm saying? It would take, I would need to read three pages, read, understand, and memorize three pages worth of material to be prepared for one single question. We're on the homeowner side. I just I need to read a page of material and I, I'm ready for three questions. So commercial is like a needle in a haystack trying to figure out what is it that I need to know and memorize to be able to get the questions correct. Homeowners is a lot easier. It's more like a target. And, and in my class series videos, especially the gold class series package where we have the best in-depth videos, I will tell you what the three red things are. <laughs> I will tell you what they're gonna ask you and what you're gonna be tested on so that you can stop wasting time studying and remembering things that you don't need to know. It's so much better spending your time. You're spending all this time. People will spend weeks, hours, days, months studying this exam. And I have a 34 hour video class package. It's not all one big video. I have 34 hours of video that if you watch those 34 hours of video, maybe twice, so we're talking maybe 60 to 70 hours and you could be done with this. Our gold class series has a 90% first time pass rate. You could just be done with it instead of spending days and weeks and months studying and studying and studying and getting nowhere and bumping your head against the wall and pulling your hair out. When you could just watch my gold class series, I will give you the red lines and you can pass the exam, okay? So again, Commercial, in some states, again, you can be reading up to seven pages to be prepared for one question. And that is why we want to focus on homeowners and dwelling as a being focused on commercial. So then additionally, now some people will say, why does it seem like so much of the exam is commercial? They'll say, I, I came away in the exam. Every question was commercial. No, it wasn't. <laughs> the reason is that you're you're less likely to remembering answering questions that you knew or answered quickly. So if you get a question and you know the answer, you answer it, you forget about it, it's out of your head. When you get to a question and you're like, I don't know the answer to this question, oh my God, I'm overthinking, I'm overanalyzing, I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna fail, I'm biting my nails. That question is gonna stick in my mind much harder 
than this question. I blew past these ones. I knew the answers to these, these ones. I didn't spend any time thinking about these ones, but I spent minutes worried about this one commercial question that I had. And so it, it sticks in your mind a lot harder when you come to a question that you're not as prepared for. So what you've got to do is trust what Melissa is saying, trust what the insurance exam queen is saying is that it's okay if you don't know the answer to every question, just pick one and move on. Um, and in fact, they even tell people and somebody put it in their five-star review that they did this. I say, just, just read the question in your head and say, Melissa, tell me the answer and just trust whatever answer comes out. If, if I say A, choose A. If I say B, C or D, whatever, and just trust it and just move on. Energy works, people. So anyway, um, this is why we remember the commercial so hard is because we get those questions and we panic over them and they imprint themselves in our brain much harder than the homeowner's questions that we are able to breeze right through, okay? All right, next up, in terms of commercial policies, this is just kind of summarizing a little bit about what I said is that commercial requires hundreds of pages worth of study and generally makes up a smaller percentage of the exam in most states. In about half of the states, it's a tiny percentage. Um, in other half of the states, it could be a decent amount. I think Alabama is probably the worst at 30% of the exam. But even in Alabama, we had somebody who used gold. She said, your videos were exactly what I needed to be able to pass. I didn't have to study much harder in commercial than what you told me to in your gold class series package. Um, <clears throat> then other chapters um, like PNC basics, policy provision, contract law, homeowners and dwelling make up way less pages to study. They're much easier to know and understand and memorize than commercial policies because here's, here's my job. Here's my passion. Here's my purpose. I want to make this exam as easy as possible and secure a pass. I am not trying to get people to score 100%. I am trying to get you to score 70% and move on and be done with it. Because the real training, the real learning comes in after you're done with the exam. So let's get this out of the way. Let's get that piece of paper that says you passed and let's move on. So my goal is not, not to get you an 80%, not to get you 100%, not to get you a 90%. My goal is to get you a 70% and get out of there. So when you focus on what is going to give me the 70% in the easiest, fastest way, that is what I do. That is my purpose. That is what I focus on. And that is what my gold class series and all my class series are focused on is the quickest, fastest, easiest way to get me that pass. That is that is what I do. That is what I, what I focus on. <clears throat> okay. And we do that by focusing on these chapters, PNC basics, policy revision, contract law, homeowners and dwellers. Then we do on focusing on commercial. Therefore, keep your studies of commercial to the basics and the big picture more than getting into the nitty gritty details. There are so many tiny details about commercial and there's so many numbers, like everything has a number, like it has to be a hundred feet away from the building. And then it's 30 days for this. And it's $2,500 for this. And it's a thousand dollars for this. It is endless. The amount of information you would need to study and memorize for commercial. So rather than getting into those nitty gritty details, we keep it big picture. And that is what we focus on when we, in our gold class series videos. So when you watch my commercial videos, you'll notice I keep it you know, big picture so that you can get the information you need to grab, grab some points in there. We don't want you to bomb the commercial chapter, but if you can walk away with, you know, 50 to 60% of the points in that one chapter, it's enough that if you're really strong in the other easier to understand chapters, you'll be able to pull off a pass. Okay. Okay. Um, now, again, I want to remind you, we tend to remember the questions we don't know and that we don't study for. Basically, we remember the questions that scare us. If you feel like you saw a ton of commercial questions, this is why. Remember to check your exam breakdown and you'll see that commercial doesn't take up a big percentage in most states. It may take up a lot of your memory because those questions scared you. But at the end of the day, only so many questions will come from commercial. And there's not one state, not one, where if you... You can't pass unless you pass commercial. You can pass the other easier sections faster and easier than it would be to try and passing the commercial section. Unless you just really love numbers and memorization and, and complication, maybe that chapter is for you. But for most people, it's too difficult. It's too much information. Um, now, I would like to say, though, there are some states that make you take property and casualties separately. 
So on the casualty side, you will need to be a little bit stronger in commercial auto and commercial liability known as CGL. And that's the occurrence versus claims made. We have those videos you need for gold to understand that. Those policies can seem really confusing, but if you just understand one key thing, uh, occurrence versus claims made, you're able to answer the questions correctly. And that's what we cover in my gold class series video. Okay, and then lastly, I wanna just briefly, briefly talk about BOP versus CPP because these are the two main commercial policies and then the CGL as well, but I don't, I'm not covering that in this video today. Um, but when we, to, to help you understand the difference between a BOP and a CPP, a BOP is like a prepackaged policy. It's like when you go to Starbucks and they have a salad available to buy and it's got everything inside of it and it's all packaged and sealed up. That's what a BOP is for. It's for a small business that they all kind of share the same needs. A CPP, on the other hand, is more like a salad bar where depending on what your business needs are, you take a little of this, you take a little of that, you take a little of this. And then every, every salad is going to look a little bit different. Every policy is going to look a little bit different for the, the, the business at hand. They may have different needs, right? So like one company may need a crime policy and then the other company needs a farm policy. And so they're all going to look a little bit different for the, for the CPP. One last thing, this is this, this more than, 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 than uh, the nitty gritty, this can help you answer a lot of the questions on the exam itself. So I wanted to give you one more sneak peek of some of the presentations that we have. So when you watch the gold videos, um, we share this in there so that you can have this, but the BOP and we have more, right? This is just, this is just like page one. <laughs> There's a lot more pages that we can share with you and offer to help explain this material. So definitely check out the gold class series package. So the BOP is for small to medium businesses. They all basically have the same needs. When you're a small business and you're just getting started, you tend to all have the same type of needs. So that's what the pre-packaged salads is for. And then the CPP is for the larger business and for, for manufacturing companies. That's an exam question. If you're a manufacturing company, you cannot have a BOP. You have to have a CPP if you're a manufacturer. Uh, manufacturers, is that spelled right? I don't know. <laughs> and then a CPP is a package of policies all bundled together. Um, it's a commercial package policy. They package a bunch of policies together in one. And then it's unique to each business because some businesses may have, you know, big, the bigger you are, the more different needs that you, that you have for your business. Okay. So again, don't stress or overwhelm yourself about commercial. Um, in pretty much every single state, if you just watch my gold class series videos, you will learn what it is you need for commercial, including commercial auto, including CGL, and you will have enough of that covered. And then you want to focus really hard more on general insurance, insurance terms, policy provision, contract law, dwelling in homeowners, state law, and you can knock your pass, your pass out of the park. All right. So this is Melissa, your insurance exam queen. I am sending you all the loves, all the vibes to pass your exam. Have an amazing day.